Hello, welcome, and this is One India News. And Avinash, good day for India finally, finally. after such a long, long time. Yes. Uh, though the day didn't start as well, um, Virat Kohli uh, getting out cheaply once again, and then of course Jadeja losing his wicket. But uh, still, um, you know, it it is good to see India, you know, getting the rhythm back. Yes, uh, obviously the batting. It looked like Indian players are batting and they are comfortable on Indian pitches now. Uh, especially Cheteshwar Pujara, right. Rai, Rahane and KL Rahul. No doubt. All these three batsmen they just brought India back into the game once again. Because uh, after the, getting Australia all out was the biggest thing for India. An achievement for India. No doubt. Because uh, 87 run lead was a good one to, def, uh, to, def- to, start. to, to go for yes. strike on. Bilkul. And uh, after that, they they got together, started well. The opening for the first time, they did well. Like they played, they, they stayed. Like they stayed yes. for some time. Though Abhinav Mukund was uh, unlucky this time around also. He succumbed to the pressure from the Australians. No and doubt. A, 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 the pressure of a comeback perhaps did his trick right. once again. And uh, it's highly unlikely that he will be featuring in the next match. Uh, because the uh, team is going to be selected for the rest, to, rest of the two, two matches. matches and uh, I doubt that he will once again get a chance. So we'll talk about that thing in later part in the show. Yes. Uh, but still, uh, if we talk about Virat Kohli again this time around, what happened? What, what is happening with Virat uh, Kohli? Is he, is he under too much of pressure, do you think? It seems that he is in a kind of pressure and the way he was dismissed was uh, not so Virat Kohli-like. No doubt. Yet. And uh, he was plumbed and... Uh, Although the de- decision went for up, uh, DRS upstairs and it was shocking for Virat Kohli because there was a little bit of uh, edge, edge from the bat and pad and things could have been uh, in his favour had the luck favoured him. Of course. Uh, we can say Virat Kohli didn't have the luck in the past four innings that he has played. Right. And perhaps this is the worst patch of his career i think this is something that That's you know after the after the bangalore days virat kohli will think that the, those four innings didn't happen for him mm-hmm. uh, and if we if we go through what virat kohli is struggling he's still struggling to read the lines uh, it, i mean that's so, that's strange because right. a batsman like virat kohli who has only three matches back he slammed a triple a double 100 against right. bangladesh had no problems of uh, in batting suddenly there's a slump in his batting performance and it's uh, we just hope that he just gets over these uh, things right. and comes back stronger, harder in the next match against Australia because he has a point to prove against Australia. Of course, we, when the last time he played Australia in Australia in four matches he had slammed four tons. Right. So we expect fr- uh, from the captain of this Indian side who has been a tr- in tremendous form for the past season that he bounces back and talks with his bat. Right. So it will be. Uh, we will have to wait and watch, watch for that. But today we should talk about Cheteshwar Pujara, Pujara and, and Rahane. The way they, these two batsmen batted, they completely frustrated the Australian bat- no bowling doubt. lineup. Even the, the phases of the Australian the, fielders, they started drooping. Right. There was a negative negativity coming out of uh, their body. Of course, it, it comes uh, out when you know, you're know you trying your level it. hard for the, the getting these two batsmen out yes. at some point of time. Of course, there was some misfielding also. There were some catches. That happens. That That's, happens. It, it was a case with the Indian uh, bowling, bowling guy as well. Right. So, you cannot take these uh, th- things for granted uh, and deny the fact that they batted exceptionally well. No doubt. And uh, they batted for 33-34 overs and denied Australia a single so, wicket in the final session. It's an achievement for the Indian batting and they would be their morals would have been sky high now. No doubt. And when they come they, when they come out to bat in the morning, we hope that they stick to this plan. Right. And capitalize upon the lead that they have gone got. Right. And just play these kind of shots the the way they played. Right. And uh, play further say for for like uh, lunch and then capitalize on the advantage of the lunch till the uh, till the tea break right because it is going to be a very crucial wicket no if doubt. you have 200 250 runs on the board to defend and? then obviously you have your chances of winning this match otherwise if you have less less chance uh, run uh, lesser runs on the board then australia would, would attack because they're natural game they will they, they try playing natu- the natural games right and in a case like this there is a chance of Australia bouncing back. No doubt. The first and foremost thing for this Indian team is to 
pile up some runs on the so board. So basically, the the idea would be that you know both Pujara and Rahane should stick tomorrow till the tea. Yes. And uh, should build up a good partnership. Put like more runs. We have a lead of 120. Yes. 106 uh, runs lead. right now. Yes. And so, Kohli would like that this should. Uh, reach till 250 and then he might think of declaring the innings and putting Obviously. Australia They, they might uh, not declare the innings I think because the pitch is not that uh, of that sort right. Obviously Indian wickets will fall tomorrow We just hope that they don't, don't lose too many wickets in the first session Right. And if they don't lose too many runs and scores somewhere around 50-60 runs in the first session And then probably add on some 50-60 runs in the second session then they will be in the driver's seat. All right. And now coming back to Abhinav Mukund, as we were talking about, not able to perform at all. Yes. You know, he got uh, on duck uh, in the first innings. In the second inning, also he was able to make only 16 runs. Yes. Not too much of dent. What do you think the selectors would be thinking? Who would be the better choice for the other two uh, uh, matches? Would it be Gautam Gabir? Would it be Parthiv Patel? Because both of them have played exceptionally well. And kudos to Parthiv Patel. He was brought back uh, as Ridhiman Saha was injured. He mm. played amazing Obviously. knocks. Bilkul. And uh, we will have to wa- wait uh, to see what selectors come up with. Because right. obviously Chetish, uh, Parthiv Patel, uh, Gautam Gambhir, and even Shikhar Dhawan up to a, a certain to extent, extent, they are playing uh, the domestic cricket. Right. So there is a chance, uh, a possibility of uh, Gautam Gambhir being selected if India loses another opener. Right. If Murli Vijay is not fit for the next match, then obviously Gautam Gambhir would be preferred over, over all because he was the genuine opener that India took. Right. And then he was sent back when KL Rahul was, was back in fit, the and team. Again, fit and fine. Right. So obviously it will be... He deserves, Gautam Gambhir deserves a chance to be get back into the side right. and cement his position. Right. Because Murli Vijay, I think he may not be able to feature in the next test match right. as well. Right. So we will have to wait and watch what selectors think. And one thing more about tomorrow, we have still got Karun Naya to come to bat. Obviously. What I, I saw him, you know, sitting in the uh, in the uh, in the dressing room, all padded up in the last match. He was. There he, but what do you think? What would you be thinking for tomorrow? Tomorrow could be a crucial day for him. Yes, it it, it will be crucial day for the entire batting, uh, which is uh, about to come. But uh, yes, if Karun Nair wants to cement his position in this side, then prob- then there's a test for him tomorrow as well. Right. Because he he will be, uh, definitely he will have to come and bat, and he will have to show his intent. He will have to play some shots, score some runs for the side, and help India extend their lead to somewhere around 200-250 to get back into the game. Right. So that was the thing. One local boy, KL Rahul, he played superbly. He made a half century. The other local boy, Karun Nair, possibly would be coming out tomorrow to bat. Let's hope that he uh, at least make at least go for a century tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> nobody, for... nobody will go for a century <laughs> barring uh, KL, uh, uh, Cheteshwar Pujara or Ajinkya Rahane Right Cheteshwar Pujara He is batting on 79 So We would want him to Complete a century Because he missed it uh, A century against Bangladesh Right he was, When he was dismissed At 80, 80 plus score Right So He deserves to make a century now So We just hope that he Completes it And uh, Rest of the things If they uh, The bowler Batsman They come out And play some 20-40 run, uh, runs innings also is uh, more than enough for India right. to be satisfied with. So, Karun Nair, if you <laughs> watch this, you know, don't go for the gun, guns or you know, the local boy. People want you to come out and play superbly. Well, that's all in this video and that was our prediction for day number 4 of the second match in Bangalore. Let's hope that India puts up a 250 plus score for uh, Australia to chase, um, uh, to at least win this uh win this test match and you know let's start something more interesting and let's make the other two uh test, test matches, matches more fighting uh, uh, uh test matches well that's all in this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to one india news youtube channel and don't forget to comment in the comment section below thanks for watching